What's up everybody, I am Mike and this is another custom doll. You may also call it an action figure, but let's be real, I made a Hey Girl doll. Ryan Gosling has a ton of amazing films and characters I can turn into little toy versions from modern classics like Drive or The Place Beyond the Pines, but honestly I think it's so funny that his image has become the butt of so many jokes, the fact that he's in on it and gets it himself only makes it that much more funny. So about the figure. I had to remove the original paint and did some minor re-sculpting to bring out more detail. All in all I really wanted a reason to paint a Ryan Gosling head sculpt and maybe I'll make one based on Blade Runner 2049 if it turns out to be any good. I have my own personal reservations just because the original Blade Runner is to me, the best film ever made and I really hope they'll do it justice. If you want to see me actually paint a head sculpt, why not drop a comment down below. If that is something you'd like to see, I'll figure out how to properly shoot it. For this outfit I went with regular black pants and a nice button-up shirt with a mysterious hoodie. In case you really want to make a shrine dedicated to Ryan Gosling, I've also added a couple of roses, a pillow and a book to make him complete. In order to get a realistic skin tone, I use soft, oil-free pastels. After scratching the paint down to a soft powder, I can apply it to the surface similar to makeup and create the illusion of layered and translucent skin. In order to get the eyes just right, I used acrylics mixed in with pastels and heavily watered down shades of red to paint the veins on his eyes. Whenever I film, I try to be somewhere between 50 and 300 mm focal length with a telephoto lens. This creates softer edges with a clear focus on the eyes and face. Anything below 50 only has the risk of image distortion. And the only thing you'll see me adjust in post is the color grading. I want to give you a full view of the doll and for that I also switch up the lighting every now and then because different lights also create a different look. I hope you enjoyed this, like and subscribe if you do, comment down below what you want to see me do next or what I should improve on. I'll be back soon with another figure. Remember to check out my site, the link is down below. You'll also find tons of images and links for DeviantArt, Figure Realm and ArtStation. And of course, my shop on Etsy if you ever feel like getting a unique and crazy gift idea for a friend. Thank you again for tuning in and remember, as always, it's just painted plastic. Thank you.